here to show us how to capture those rays of springtime sun and bring them into our homes with DIY crystal sun catchers is Paige. Look how beautiful that is, Paigey. Oh, it's, it looks so delicate, oh, yet it's... took so long. <laughs> First of all, just so people know, okay. I, I know what dream catchers are. Yes. We've all grown up with the dream catchers. Yep. But sun catcher, I, I'd never heard of this. This is new to me. It's similar to okay. the dream catcher in that Native Americans, my people, I'm part Cherokee. Oh, really? I love they that. They did come up with sun catchers as well. And sun catchers are kind of like the optical equivalent of wind chimes. So you, you hear the wind blowing. This is the optical version. So you want to put it, it reflects the light from the outside. You can hang it on the window, you can hang it outside, and it's supposed to catch the sun and then put that out everywhere throughout you, the room. Oh my gosh, did you see that? Look at the rays. Did yes. you see the rays coming through? So you're basically making a rainbow. Kinda. You're making rainbows and it's rainbows. Like and it's so much fun when, like when we have sunset here tonight. This, it's just so gorgeous the way it just completely makes rainbows all around the room. It's like a big diamond without spending the money on a large <laughs> diamond. <laughs> it, and it's very beautiful, and I like the, the decoration that you did on our sun catcher. So let's get started. That's like a little tree climbing up the side, isn't it's it? It's the tree of life, yes. Oh. Which, um, my theology degree, I'll give you a little history oh, real quick. Yeah. Um, the tree of life actually means something in every in, or in every religion. And in Christianity, it means God loves us and we have his, his wisdom. Oh, that's gonna yes. make me cry. It's so beautiful and that's why I chose that, but oh. I think the sun comes in. All right, let's get okay. started. Where should we start? What would you like to know? Well, what do we do first? Okay, the first thing we do, you can see I used a lot of different wires, uh, wires here. Um, and the lower the gauge, the thicker the wire. Okay. So when you're building your base, you actually, this is an, an 18 gauge. It's a little bit harder. It looks thick. It is thick. Um, I actually used this one, which is picture Even hanging. Even thicker, huh? Picture hanging wire, it's okay. steel galvanized. So um, this is, in, I mean, you can it bends. see. Okay. It bends, yes. But what you wanna do is kind of create where you think you will want the base of your tree. Okay. So you wrap it on the top. And I would suggest using, um, you can see the little needle nose pliers, right. the set that I have. That is for jewelry making, and it actually came in quite handy, because it's kind of like you're making jewelry, except you're making it on a tree. Sure. So this is going to be our tree body. So you just freehand the whole thing. You you're freehand. not. freehand. Nope. You can okay. print something out if you want and kind of follow the lines. And then for this, talk about jewelry oh making. Oh my goodness. I That's added beautiful. all of these to. Um, you can see this over here, just a regular chain with okay. jump rings. And I really want that, this prism is right. where you're gonna get the most color. So I'm gonna lay that down where I want it and then wrap the chain around the top. Okay, Yep. so you get around. it the perfect length. Exactly, yes. And this will not be held up by its own chain. All right. I just went around and around and then I'll go back over it with some of the other wire. So this kind of disappears and we make sure that it, it's held in And you'll place. make it like decoration. Exactly. Yeah, because I see uh, on this tree back here that we have, you have like a double wire situation going. Yes, I have double, triple, quadruple. There are a lot of wires A going. lot of okay. wires, yeah, let me show you. I'm gonna swap that one out. This? Yes, please. Okay. So this is, wow. we've gone a little bit beautiful. further. <gasps> that's um, so beautiful, Peggy. But that's how it starts. You start with one, you can kind of see, this was my first one, okay. goes up the middle. That's where this one would be, the one in your hand. Okay. This is hung on, and then do you see how, actually, it is this way. Do you see how um, this is covered up? So right. where we wrapped that so up, I also it. wrapped it with the copper wire. Now the copper wire is key. This one is a 22 gauge. Okay. This is very soft on the fingers. It's very nice to the touch. All right. It's very nice. And that's what you kind of made the trunk out of. Yep, I just re-wrapped and you can kind of see all the different colors. I liked using the steel galvanized. I needed that on, um, if you look at this one at the window, I needed the steel galvanized wire for this. Right. So keep its shape because that's a little bit heavier. I like the different metals as well. I like that you mix the metals. Now let's talk about the crystals for a moment. Okay. Does it matter what kind of crystals or beads we use here? Yes. Okay. So there are something called bicone crystals and those are the ones that really reflect light. So you can kind of see um, the big one is a bicone as well. This this is really reflective. There's And you can see like if you, you le use little diamantes, um, that will reflect the light. And one more. Here they are. Um, this will also reflect the light. So you can kind of see how they're a little bit iridescent and how they are actually put together. They're meant to put light. To reflect. The okay. rest is just, it, they're just so pretty. They're just fillers. They're just fillers. Um, but if you're making the tree of life, yes. So I mean, here, I'll that show is you. gorgeous. That's supposed to be like a leaf. Right? Yes. Or like this one does have a hole in it. But if you were using gems that didn't oh have a hole, gosh, all you would gorgeous. need to do, check this out. You could just wrap it 
all the way around. Right. And, and you could yep. use that. Oh um, but since it did have the hole, we're, we're pretty secure. And then you look how you want your tree, how you want your branches, and we want it to come off of this. So this is really just your creative license. Whatever you think is a yes. your tree of life, this is, you know, you can, whatever tree you would like to make, but you could do endless different yes. decorations for sun catchers. You could, yes, and you could pick your favorite colors. I went with green just because we are mimicking a tree. Right. I can take that for you. I've just hold been it holding though. it the entire time. I know, it's it's, it's so pretty. But what about these two? I love how you did these little, these oh, the sort curly of spirals. Cues. I love that. So this, I took a Sharpie, and look how oh, easy this is. So high tech. With my, yes, isn't it? <laughs> Very low tech. I took a piece of the 22 gauge, and then I just wrapped around the Sharpie. Oh my gosh, so easy. So easy, and then you pull it off, if you want to keep it coiled this much, really you can. Cute, if not, you can pull it out and extend the coils. That is almost as if they're they're. Um, this is so beautiful roots. and so artistic. I feel like I would buy it at an art fair. Oh, you could. Yes. Right? Oh my gosh. I'm... Making it yourself, you can make it whatever color, whatever you want to have in your whatever own design. Home. Yeah. I'm all about the sun catcher now. Yes. Aww, thank you for helping <laughs> us catch sun, Paige. Thank you.